There is no Premier League in the UK and no NBA in America. The Tokyo Olympics is postponed. Australian beaches have been shut down, and millions are losing jobs as cafes, restaurants, gyms, and businesses are forced to close. As you venture out of your house for the first time in many days for groceries and other essentials, things may be quite different from how you remembered them. You might be wondering, why has this happened? How did it come about? The new coronavirus outbreak, which plagues almost every corner of the world with a death toll of tens of thousands, was first called the Wuhan pneumonia until the World Health Organization, or WHO, named it COVID-19 in February 2020. Back in December 2019, the Chinese government had a chance to stop the virus from spreading all over the world when the first case was reported in Wuhan, China. Many tried to warn the Chinese government about the outbreak, but Chinese officials chose to suppress these reports, accusing these journalists, doctors, and whistleblowers as rumor spreaders and arresting them. One of these doctors, Dr. Li Wenliang, died from the disease. The Chinese government also tried to downplay the virus as not being transmissible among humans. The WHO followed the same script. When that lie was exposed, the Chinese government then said that it was a mild, treatable condition which the government had under control. Before the Chinese government banned all travel from Wuhan, up to five million people left the city, some to other countries. The first cases detected in Italy and South Korea were people from Wuhan. But even after the deaths started mounting in China, the WHO said that the spread globally was minimal and slow. Accused countries that introduced travel restrictions as overreacting, and still spoke highly of Chinese authorities, despite the authenticity of outbreak-related data from China being questionable. Under Chinese pressure, the WHO has also excluded Taiwan from being one of their members and allowing them to join their coronavirus discussions. Even though Taiwan has been one of the leading countries in keeping the virus under control, the current pandemic is particularly painful for Hong Kong because of the SARS epidemic in 2003, which also originated in China and then spread to Hong Kong and the rest of the world due to China's cover-up. While our wishes are with all those who are infected and affected by the coronavirus. We should not forget that the whole pandemic could have been prevented if the Chinese Communist Party government respected free speech and took decisive action before it had become too late. What can we do about it? All nations should rethink the governance of the WHO before other global institutions for international cooperation fall to irrelevance. What about China? Obviously, we cannot turn China into a democracy overnight. But we can, and we should, hold China accountable for its behavior and put a price on its lies and oppression.